Listen to the explanation. The structural unemployment. So the definition can be the structural unemployment occurs when the demand for labor is less than the supply of labor in an individual labor market. People are willing to work, but the thing is that there is not enough demand. There is there are not enough jobs available. Maybe again there is a mismatch between the uh, skills required and skills available. Decline of the manufacturing industry. That is an example of the structural unemployment. Manufacturing is one of the key sectors in any economy. If you are a good producer of manufacturing products, industry is strong, secondary sector is strong, then it means that you are going to export a lot and earn valuable foreign exchange. And if there is a decline in the manufacturing sector overall, there will be unemployed. Many people who are trained, skilled, maybe, and uh, earn their skilled workers, they are working in some industrial, uh, you know, sector, industrial activity, they will be losing their jobs. Occupational immobility. You are unable to acquire certain skills and may not join a particular profession. The fee for the course is very high, for example. Uh, there are other restrictions from the government, certification required to become a teacher, for example. Then many people may be interested in teaching, may not join this profession until unless they get a particular training or certificate, certification. Geographical immobility. People when there are extreme cases of poverty in, in an economy, people may not have enough money to move from one region to another region in order to get a better job or in order to, uh, in order to get any job basically. So they will remain unemployed. They don't have the resources available. Robotics replacing jobs. There is a term for it. It means industries are becoming automated, automation becoming more technological and that is, re that is basically replacing the human workers with robots. Robots basically what they do, they, they are programmed to do certain tasks. So they do repeated work, they will save your cost of production in the long run and make perfect products but lack the innovation or creation which can be offered by the humans only. Current competition rising imports. Sometimes what happens is that your economy is unable to match the things, goods and services which are being produced by your competitors. So because of that, certain industries will go out of business and it will create unemployment. You are not producing in your country, but you are importing a lot of goods and services, creating unemployment. Long term regional decline. The last 70 years, Balochistan is one of the provinces and it infect interior Sindh as well very limited number of industries, infrastructure is not properly built and that's why it is not creating enough jobs for the people in those regions. So it will be a sustained unemployment in those regions. Until unless government make a solid, a strong regional policy and that is part of the supply side policies where the government try to build industries, factories and motivate producers to go in the backward economies, backward regions, where there is high rates of unemployment and you know, help the people around creating jobs. This supply side policy, regional policy which I told you, has a very good statement or a slogan related to it. Taking work to the workers, taking work 
to the workers. It means that they don't have to move anywhere. They will find jobs in the region where they are living. Then another reason is disincentive, example, poverty trap. If you are experiencing a vicious circle of poverty, it means that a poor person will have poor children, they will not be affording to give them uh, good education, solid education. So they will remain unskilled, uneducated, so they are also facing, going to face the same problem of unemployment. Disincentives, it means that in, in the farms, in the small towns and villages in Pakistan, what happened? The farmers engage their own children or own family in the farms. So they think that education is useless and we are going to get help from our children. So they are not getting enough incentives from the government. What the government can do if they want to you know, increase, enhance literacy? Incentives will be some certain facilities given by the government to help those people, to motivate them to send their kids to the schools and get education. If they get education, if they get skills training, then of course they are going to get jobs in the future. They will not remain unemployed. Outsourcing of production overseas. Most of you have heard that the Pakistani producers of cotton, they are shifting to Bangladesh for production or to China. It means that you are outsourcing it. Although your name is there, but the production is done by someone else in some other country. So that country will have more employment and your country will have unemployment because there is not much of the production activity over there. Now you can copy down this.